Kevin Graff with Train a Tree. Going to show you how I set up my citrus trees. So today I've got a couple different varieties that uh, that I'm using. For example, this particular one. This is a kaffir lime, and kaffir. Um, I'm going to keep this tree very, very small because what I really want from this tree is the leaves. You use it in cooking. I like to make different uh, Thai foods and such. I love Penang and and these these are the leaves that you would use in that type of food. So I'm gonna keep this tree very, very small. But I want it to be um, spread out and maintained very well. So with this particular tree, it doesn't need much. I bought this tree on a markdown in a small pot for $5. I brought it home, I put it into a little larger pot and, and I made a couple little cuts on it so that I could get a little bit of growth out of it. Now, now it's not really fair completely with some of the stuff that I show you because I've already had so many of these things utilizing the system, but you'll get the gist of it uh, here. So like this particular tree, I really don't need much in this other than one spreader because I want this one here to be the middle and I want this one here to come down just a little bit more. So that's all I'm going to do <clears throat> to this particular tree because I've already had the blocks hanging in here and pulling these things down. So with this particular tree, that's all that one, all that I would do because I like to be able to get into the center. This particular tree, this is a dwarf golden nugget. Now, I bought this tree a couple years ago and it really struggled. It did not do well in the ground. So I pulled it out of the ground, bought a new one, a different plant, um, and I put this back into a pot to see if I could get it to uh, uh, rekindle its life, see if we couldn't bring it back. And we can, you can see that it is happening. One of the, uh, Gold Nugget is an absolutely unbelievable mandarin. But what it wants to do is it wants to grow really tight together. It wants to stay all compact inside. So we have to tell it, uh, you know, we want to be able to get in there and get, uh, get to our fruit. So with this particular plant, what I would do here is hollow out the inside a little bit because you have more things growing inside, like this one in here. I don't want more inside. I want to force it to the outside. So anything that's growing sideways, pushing different directions, I'm going to take out. Um, I don't need another one growing up the center, so I'm going to take that guy there out also. Um, not going to do too much pruning. You can see this one here is trying to grow opposite direction there, so I'm going to take that out. and. That's about it here. Everything else is growing in the right direction. So all I would do with this thing here is spread it out just a little bit more. So like this one here, I would put this in here and push this out, opening up this center just a little bit more. I would take <clears throat> I would take a couple of these and I would pull them out just a little bit more also. So with just a few little things done in here, you can set this tree up to be very successful. Here's another one. It's growing up just a little bit too straight. I want it to come down just a little bit. And these don't take long to harden off. When I say harden off, from the wood to go from, from light green like this to brown to where it's now uh, its structure. And that's really what we're trying to accomplish is getting a very strong structure. So I want to open up the center, have it coming out more like that um, so the sun can penetrate. All of our fruit will ripen evenly. And that's all I would do with this particular tree. This here uh, is going to live most of its life in a pot. This happens to be a, a uh, miniola. 
and this also was a rescue. Um, this one had a bunch of, uh, it didn't have very many leaves on it at all, and it's already had the benefit of, of the uh, uh, spreaders in pushing out its main branches. So that, that there is really all I did to this, this tree. And then other than hanging some of these on to pull them down, because I want my trees to weep more than I want them reaching up to the sky. So again, just trying to open up that center a little bit because with citrus, it can get so tight inside here, you can't reach in, it makes it very difficult to prune. And that's my goal is to keep all the fruit on the outside easy to harvest. Um, so here I see this particular one, you can't see it from over there, but this one branch is wanting to grow up this way. So I'm gonna assist him just a little bit. And now remember, these plants um, will, they're trying to grow up, and so you put a little weight on them. You don't want to put it all the way out on the end, because if you put it out on the end, it's just going to pull it all the way over and have it hanging to the ground, and that is not what we're trying to do either. We just want to get it to come down just a little bit. I actually could put one on there also. Would benefit this. And it, it needs a little bit of time for it to happen. You don't want it to happen right now. You want it to take a little bit of time. So don't put it all the way, don't put your blocks all the way out on the end. Move it in just a little bit. Let the tree start to bend. If it needs a little bit more, you see in that it's just not quite, move it out one more leaf. And eventually it will start to pull itself down. And that is the basis of, uh, of the train of tree system is is to get your tree formed properly from the get-go and the rest of its life you will be happy with your tree thanks appreciate it